Sup, ladies and gents. Welcome back to some more Ghost of a Tale. My name is Enside, and well, we are once again here at the Northern Slopes. The reason we are beginning from here today is because, well, I decided to actually finish the quest Ring and Remembrance, or at the very least continue it by bringing the Ornate Chest back to what was it? Uh, yeah, I just retrieved the ring, which would be in the Ornate Chest if I'm if I'm correct about things. But before I do that, there is one thing that I... I didn't notice one thing with the blacksmith that I just now thought of was really clever. And that is, well, you know how you can hear the hammer sound when he's hammering away? If you turn around, um, well, you won't hear it until you are at like a... I would say 90 degree angle to him with the camera. And I just thought that was a really cool a really cool touch from a game dev perspective because that is just good optimization. Like I stood there for like I had my back turned to I had my back turned to the blacksmith for like half a minute and I couldn't hear anything, but as soon as I turned to a 90 degree angle with the camera to him, then all of a sudden I could hear him just hammering away, so yeah. That was just really cool. Right away, let's get the silver ring and be on our way back to Silas. Finally get him the ring he so desires and, well, finally figure out what the heck is with the ring, why it's so precious. Well, I mean, I have a few guesses as to why it would be so precious. One would be a remembering of a loved one or something, or perhaps an heirloom. But, well, we'll see. If I can just remember the fastest way to him. Oh, and yeah. <laughs> if you look at the banner right in front of me. I also did something just for science while this guard here just walked by me. I lit it up with a candle right the fuck in front of his eyes and he didn't even bat an eye. Well, he did bat an eye but he, was, he just got curious, I guess. Like, he didn't get mad, he didn't chase me, he, he was just like... <laughs> like he was looking at me and just like, why the hell did you light up that banner, you idiot? I lit it up because I am secretly a mouse in disguise. And you just witnessed sabotage. But yours truly, and I... I keep mistaking these doors. Because the door I'm looking for is the one that goes up this way and then down back over there. And I keep forgetting that. Um, excuse me, sir. Let's go down the proper way. And, alright. Have you guys produced any honey yet? I... can I check? Is there any way for me to... No? Okay. Fair enough then. Just keep on doing your beefing. Also, I rebound the uh, red mist ability to one of my other buttons on my mouse because it was really irritating to have the red mist activate at the same time as I was switching out items. That was a real annoying thing. But hey, apart from that, all good. Silas, I have your ring, finally, and I just realized you have some rot gut right here. I'll take that if you don't mind. I hope you weren't planning on getting drunk tonight. How goes it, mouse? Silas, look! I found your ring! Catch! You? Ha! <laughs> look at that, I can hardly believe it. You mean you didn't have faith in me? Come on, we've been through so much. Frankly, no. Really? Oh, and yeah, before I forget, um, by the time... By the time this episode goes up, it will most likely be way past, or at least a few days past Christmas. But, either way, 
uh, late Merry Christmas and have a good holiday or good late holiday I hope you had a good holiday and away onwards with the story but I'm happy to be proven wrong thank you Tilo truly just look at that gleeful face. So worth it. Um, hmm, don't know what to pick here. I am interested in both, really. Though I guess I'm more interested in this. So, what now? What news is there from Yuba? I'm still waiting for the scout to return. It shouldn't be too long now. Scap. Alright, scap beetle, okay. That must be the last scap Beetle is talking about because I just have not been able to find the bugger. I think at very least that I'm only missing one of his scap Beetles. Where am I at 4 out of 7? I can't remember. But meanwhile, I must ask you for one more favor. There are two prisoners down in the holding cells, near the main gate. Gaston and Vitaly? Of course, you've already met them. They have something that belongs to me. Another silver band. Not much smaller than this one. I need you to retrieve it. Stolen ring. Talk to Gaston Vitali. They stole it from you? Hey, hey, they did. Be careful, Tilo. These two, they can't be trusted. Okay. Um, I have more questions though. There was the body of a mouse with treasure. Ooh, <laughs> looks like I hit a painful memory. Something. Canto. The stonemason. I... I didn't know, I swear. I had assumed he'd become lost in the catacombs. Or fled. I found him crushed beneath the rock fall. I'm sorry to hear it. But he understood the risk he was taking. Do you have the depths of many mice on your conscience? Aye. At least one too many. I mean, at least you seem regretful about it. What do you mean? Another time, perhaps. Yeah, that might be for the best. Uh, well, guess I'll go. I have a bone to pick with those guys. Such thieving mice, and let me see here, the fastest way... <laughs> I mean, technically speaking, the fastest way would probably be like just drop down from here. But I don't want to do that because I actually care about my health. I mean, I could go straight away and talk to Gusto and Totale, which would be the easier thing to do. But at the same time, I wanna... I wanna continue looking around that northern slope. Nah, we'll do the main quest for a little bit longer. I'm sure we'll have plenty of time for side things later. But I just, I gotta tell you, it is absolutely amazing to have this armor and being able to go around the place without having to look over your shoulder. Did you really have to block my path like that, dude? Rude. I mean, we're supposed to be fellow guards. Rude to block each other, you know. You know. Just realized, wouldn't it be possible for me to do this? I'm gonna try something. Yeah, now I'm up here, and is there any possibility that I... That was not my intention. I thought the collision extended further than that. 
Well, I guess not. Uh, come on. <laughs> I didn't actually think that would work. Okay. Question, can I reach from here? Yeah, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> no collision. I cannot reach, okay. Then how in the heck would I get that banner? Perhaps throwing an explosive... Uh, whatever the heck those things were called again. I don't have the name in my head right now. I want to say acorn, but I know that's not right. You... I've come to get something from you. A silver ring. Silas says it's his. His? It's not his. We stole it, fair and square. Yeah, exactly, you stole it. It's his, you freaking dingus. He did pay us to steal it, Gusto. Who put... Who gave you money to steal it? Hey, and then the scrunt had us arrested and dragged here. They were too rude to define. <laughs> um... Where did you steal it from? From the library of Waddle Dobbs Manor House. He's a collector of rare antiquities. He's a scrunt. <laughs> Is that like the equivalent or of bitch or cunt or something? A very well this grunt. Just, I can't take this serious when you show me that picture, it's like... It, it doesn't fit together, I can't take it seriously. But how did I catch you? There was a chest, full of coins. So you fell for bait. We couldn't resist. It was heavy though, we didn't get far. Gaston wouldn't let go. They were so shiny! <laughs> Look at those eyes just like remembering all the coins and just like, how could I not? It was gold fever. Gold fever? They say it's a real condition. See, he understands. Sort of, kind of, not really. The ring, where is it now? Ah, that's the question. We don't have it with us. Oh, but it's close. As in your cell close, perhaps? If we tell you where it is, will Silas let us go free? I can't promise that. There's something you could give us. Something worth more than any riches. Fame! Did you finish that song you were writing about us? More or less? Well, let's hear it. Then maybe we'll sing about that ring. I have no idea what they're talking about. I am really being put on the spot right here. Oh, goody, goody. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead on a limb and say it's the rascal's whirly gig. Just hang on a minute, I need to confirm this. <laughs> I really should just put more trust in the names of the songs, because, well... Nothing else really makes sense for them other than the Rascal's Whirly Gig. So let's do it. And, well... <laughs> brace your ears for my singing, I suppose. I present to you the greatest of crooks. But you never read about them in your books. Brother and sister, the same in crime. But they've never been caught, and they've never done time. Fatale is wily and bad to the end. This is not someone on whom you ever depend. Fatale is the brains, cast the shoulder muscle. They know how to rob, and they know how to hustle. And thieving and stealing and crime, they're the best. You want to try as morning them, be my guest. Now please shake your pockets, cause for our finale, you've all been real blind by Gusto and Fatale. That's actually pretty good. And boy, I'm gonna need to redo that thing in editing, because by god. <laughs> 
You could do with a bit more gusto, though. <laughs> That's a pun to your name. So, who has the silver band? Bellalar. Disgruntled that arrested us. Okay, that explains why I have met the guy at all, really. That ties him into the story, I see how it is. He took the ring. He's a guard here, works the day watch. Hangs out in the commissary, in the commissary at night. Notorious gambler. Yeah, I know why I did stumble upon him. Hey, he wears the ring on a chain around his neck. He does? How the heck did I notice that before? Oh well. Um, I'm not gonna attempt stealing as a first approach. <laughs> Perhaps I'll let Salas know. Because I don't really know what I would have to trade for it, so yeah, I'll let Salas know. Oh, he hates Silas. Hey, he'll never give the ring to that scrunt. You're going to have to win it from him. Play to win the silver ring. Alrighty then. Well, I should go then. It's been good talking to you and bless you. And also, I did check up on something and now I have something to try at night. Or did I already do that? Yeah, I did. I think I already got the spyglass, so that's not a concern anymore. Um, where was I going? Let me see here. Bellalar shouldn't be... If he has the day watch, he should be in the kitchen at that time for, for a good round. Which means that we have time and opportunity to go back to the northern slopes. And just check up on stuff, see what's there and what we can do. And hopefully I'll be able to finish multiple quests in a row again. Because that is always a fun thing to do. Being able to knock out multiple birds with a stone, so to speak.